Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access, error messages. I'm going to start with tables and go through some of the most common error messages you'll find in access. And one is this. You've got the employee ID here and we see we go from 1 to 10, 11, and then we skip to 14, 16, 17. What's up with that? We want to use all the sequential numbers for the employee ID. Indeed, if we come in here and in a new person, we see that it automatically updates to 18 as the employee ID field is an auto number field. But watch what happens when I press escape. I remove the entire record. Now, if I try to put that person in again, I'm not going to get number 18. Once you use a number in access, it's like a check number. You cannot reuse that number even if you void that check. Now that bothers people at times because they don't like these gaps in the auto number field. But remember, this is simply a unique identifier. It doesn't matter what the number is. It doesn't matter that there are gaps in the numbers. Because down here in our navigation area, we know we have 15 records. The fact that that's number 19 is simply that it's a unique number. Now, if you wanted to renumber these because you're absolutely sure you did not want gaps in your numbers. I can show you how to do that as well. But before you go to that work, I'm going to close the table and let's look at our relationships, database tools, relationships. One employee can have many orders. So if we have an orders table full of employee ID numbers, we would not want to be renumbering them in the employees table. Nevertheless, I'm going to make a copy of the employees table and paste it in here and show you how to renumber that employee ID if you absolutely had to. And that's simply by coming into design view, deleting the employee ID auto number field. I'm going to permanently delete it and I'm going to insert a new row. You don't have to have the primary key field be the first field. It's just nice if you do because it's so important to the rest of the database because that primary key field uniquely identifies each record and is also commonly on the one side of a one-to-many relationship. I'm going to save this and show you, and there we go. We are completely renumbered now, 1 through 14, because I have 14 complete records in the copy of employees table. But I'm going to go back to the employees table and reiterate something very important. It really does not matter what number in the employee ID field, given it's an auto number field. And the purpose of an auto number field is to just automatically number each record. There's a tiny bit of light security in that if you have gaps between your numbers, 11 and 14, for example, it means that the employee with the number 12 and 13 were either deleted, entered and deleted, or partially entered, and then reversed. So it's something to look for when you see a lot of gaps in your auto number fields, that there's something going on with either people deleting records or incorrectly entering them in the first place, which is kind of nice to know. Thank you.